All right, welcome back one and all as we continue to ride this train down the tracks. Let's keep going with regards to the highlights for week six. Ainer, man, what can you say about the Blue Jackets? Jody Jenneret has got this team playing extremely well. They are off to a fast start. Easily, easily could be undefeated if uh, things kind of worked out a little differently at Andrew Jackson. However, this is when it began tonight. As for Georgetown, got off to a slow start to the season, but been playing well as of late, picked up a couple of big wins, and they were right back in business. How would these two play out in the region opener down in the Steel City? Pick it up second quarter. Blue Jackets looking to get things going, but the tip and the pick. Oh, Baquan taking it the other way for the touchdown. Georgetown gets a two-point conversion, and the Bulldogs were up 31-6. to Ouch! Let's move third quarter. More from the Bulldogs. Check out Fred Taylor making it look easy. Stays on his feet, rumbles in for another score. 37-6 Dogs. Fourth quarter we go. More from Georgetown. Nassim Dozier finding some daylight and then finding the end zone. Dogs pouring it on, up 44 to six. Stay in the fourth, more from the Bulldogs. However, they drop the rock. It's recovered by Andrew Roberts, and the Blue Jackets are in business. Sarvis, looking for somebody. Nathan Williamson, wide open. Takes it in, failed two-point conversion. That would end up being the difference. There's your ball game, Georgetown. Cruises to a 44-12 win over the Blue Jackets. Dogs now back to 500, three and three. More importantly, they're one and zero in region. Blue Jackets fall to four and two, zero and one, as they return home next week to take on the Waccamaw Warriors. As for Georgetown, they're on the road. They head to Panther Country to take on Lake City.